Good morning. It's Wednesday, and it's probably the last day or two that's going to be cold in uh, Florida, so you can see I've got my stirrup, my friendly uh, flannel on, and I couldn't wait. I finished breakfast, and I looked at my tablet for a while, and I answered some comments, and I just had to be in here and, and get started on this. Could not wait. Today's the day to stitch. I wanted to, before that though to show you what I have, um, <clears throat> what I've done on um, this page. I, you saw me uh, do this bit, and I'm, then I finished these and added this lovely horticulture uh, label and this pocket. We I haven't filled yet, but I made a copy of the front of this and used um, used bits to. Uh, make this um, this pocket. And then on the back, on the other side of this, the other quarter of this page, where are we? Where are we hiding? We're hiding back here somewhere. I know we are. There it is. Back here, I used another piece of the page. First I stenciled. I used another piece of the page. I found this girl in my uh, collage stash, and I just liked her, and I liked her coloration, and I just had to use her. And this is a piece of the cluster, uh, half of it. Um, I have the other half saved. I have in mind what I'm going to do with it. And I uh, folded it across the top, gave it a good fold, and used my bone folder. and. Uh, finished off the back so it could be a, uh, a writing spot, and attached it up here and left just a little hanging over the edge because, uh, well, it just looked best that way and I liked half of her showing. So, that's where we are here now. Let's get started on what we can do with this. This flower, uh, if we look back again, sorry, if we look back at this, we realize this is mostly this, and this one is mostly that, so this one should be a little more of this, well, at least in my mind, it should be a little more of, uh, of this, but I want uh, I want both to show here because it's, they're going to be it's going to be right down here. Okay, now I got out my uh, necessaries, my threader, scissors. You have to pick a um, pick a needle, and I did find this looking up at me in one of the drawers in my um, uh, thread stack of of drawers. And uh, how could you miss that? I love these dollar store uh, eyeglass cases because you don't lose. Nothing falls out. Love it. Now, I found this. I've had this for, oh, maybe 15 years. Uh, the most wonderful, lightweight uh, magnifier absolutely better than indoor plumbing. So, squeeze. And slip on here. And it stops where it's supposed to. And it changes your eyeglasses to make you see like an eagle, which is good. Now, okay. Pick our uh, pick our needle. <laughs> now let's, we need to have a decent size, a decent size eye. This one might be just. This one's very blunt, real needle point, and just a little bit. I thought so. Just a little bit too big to uh, go into these holes comfortably. So. This is for a larger needlepoint canvas. Mm -hmm. 
Is this the same size? Yes. Let me put them next to each other. I always test. I just have to know for sure that what I see is going to work. This one. This is a needle point needle. Oh, you can see by the um, you can see by the eye of this needle that it's a uh, a long one. Okay. Bet this one's going to work. Yo ho! Yes. Okay. That's another mission accomplished. And I'm going to start by grounding this with a little bit of this uh, this pink. And if done carefully, these pull out very nicely. This is, of course, DMC Floss number 42. Up here. Okay, now, I'm going to tease the ends, as I always do, to strip this floss so that it goes works nicely for me. One. I'm thinking three. I want this to be, I want this flower to have a little oomph. So here's two. And whoops, that's a double. Is that a double or a single? Oh, that's a single. With these glasses I can see anything. Now, there we go. And this will just fall right out and wait for us. So we have one, two, oops, <laughs> one, two, three. Okay. It does it already, as you can see. It does what I wanted to do. It lays next to each other. It's railroads. Okay. Now, of course, I'm doing something that one is not supposed to do, but I don't see any police in here, and I know you will not tell on me. No telling. Alrighty. Well, you dirty bird, you have twisted. That's okay. I just get others, but I don't feel like getting up and chasing them down right now. Okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yes, this was not an old one. don't have great faith in it, and I was right. These things happen. There's the needle right there, so I don't lose it. And you can go to your reward, and I have to get up for a moment and get out my other needle threaders. Go over to my stitchery table. Now, where are you? Just are you. Let's see if this one's going to work because they come in sizes and designs and shapes and uh, after all these years of stitching, I probably have every one. Oh, that's where my, that's where my, uh, beading needle got to. And under here, oh yes, under here, 
is one that uh, should work. Let's give that a go again. Okay, can you see it? Yes. Particularly careful. Okay. And a knot at the end. Now there's another way of doing this, but I'm not going to share all that with you because it's not necessary. Okie dokie, let's go down here. We have the center. We're going to I'm going to do something called needle painting. In other words, uh, all of these lines are not, all of these uh, th stitches are not going to be lined up the way a uh, needlepoint uh, canvas would be lined up. Not having it. Now I'm going to lay this flat and I'm going to come over, maybe come over here. Maybe another one in the same hole because remember we're needle painting here. Let's see where I might want that one to go. Let's go up there. Now if I had this on a frame I would have a, uh, a heavy needle or uh, I've shown you before the little tool that you can run this over one here. Well, I think, no, I'll go next to it. Okay. And this one is going to go next to the one that was the first one. And we're going to go back in that same hole again and bring this one over here. And let's go over there again and because I want the lines to cup a little bit. tighter in for you to see. There. I think that's better. This is a rather fine needle. I have to make sure I have a good grasp on it with these f funny fingertips. Okay, now I'm going to come back right underneath. Well, no, let's get a little more shape. Let's follow the shape of this. Do I want that there? Or do I want that in this next one right here? No, I like them better when they come out of the same place. Okay, and about lay that one down. I wanted to really, ah yes, do you see the way it's starting to take the shape of the, uh, now I'm going to put one short one down here in this hole on the black line. One here. Do I 
want one more? Do I want one more? Maybe not. Let's go back over here. We can do that. We can pull it over. No, I'm, no, I want to use that first one again. No, I don't. And this is what we have on the back. There's the one that traveled over diagonally. No problem. Because remember, this is going to be glued down. Now, I'm not going to come all the way up to the same hole next to this one because I don't want it to look like soldiers. So I'm going to come down here. And I don't like that. Ah, it's a little... Mm -mm. So let's go back in this hole. And put one back in here under. I'm going to push. I'm going to push this aside and go in there. Yes, yes. Now I need to start cupping that way. There we go. Do we? Yes, we do. Let's put a long, you notice I tried to work my floss every time I use it. Do I want one that high? That's the same as the one next to it. Let's go up here. Why not? Now we're going to use this one again, and I'm grabbing under here to hold it so that I have room to use that hole again. I could use that hole three times. It's up here. Let's come down here. And let's use the one right next to it. And I'm learning. I'm learning something wonderful. I'm learning how to work without a uh, frame. And that's a good thing. where we were, here is where we could be, I'm going, here is could, and I'm going to do a doobie right there, because I want to put one, you know, I've got that space, let me go back in here, in that same hole, let's get this railroad line out right now, there we go. And, as I said, this works on fabric just as well as this. Now I'm going to go back in that hole again. Or should I come up one? I'm going to come up one. So I want that, I want that to reach over. Let's get that. Uh-huh. Let's get that over here. And let's go up one, because that's the way the black line for the flower is shaped. So I'm going up one. And I studied the, uh, the cover, and I realized that this... Uh, is outlined. All of those flowers are outlined. So we can do that. Now let's go here in that hole again. And push this out of the way so that we're filling up this spot. And this one I think will be the last one 
I hope you can hear me. I'll bring up my tone. And just one more in that same hole to get closer to the line that I drew of the flower. And we're going to go in that one. Can you see, yes, that we have achieved what we needed to achieve. So what are we going to do? We're going to go now and put on some, uh, put on some fill areas here. We're going to go under, slide it right through, and then go back again. And that will get it because it's going to be... Um, of course, there are other ways of ending, but uh, I think this one makes more sense for what we're going to be doing. So we've got a start for the um, and the one this one bit of blue that I'm going to put on next. Uh, I'm going to drop that down in here, but not on that side because it's a flower, not soldiers. It doesn't have to be exact. We don't want it to be exact. Okay. I don't, oh, yes, I do. This is uh, 3809. You guys don't want to separate. Well, you're going to have to. Sorry about that. And one more. We could actually make this one four strands, and the center would be uh, would be uh, thicker. But we don't need to do that because this is uh, the front cover is uh, makes a statement. It doesn't need to do a stitchery statement. I was thinking I might show you how to uh, line this with layers of uh, felt and to stitch it over felt and it would and it would cup but I thought to myself mm -mm. let's try to show what's doable on fabric also And you'll probably, if you want to get some of these, these are wonderful. These are my most used ones um, for this kind of work. And it's by the company is Mill Hill, M-I-L-L-H-I-L-L. -L -L. They certainly sell that brand, I think, on uh, Amazon. Down on your finger. Put the eye of the needle up. And that makes it easier to get this guy in. And now with these glasses on, it's like uh, a better thing. It's a good thing. Now, alrighty. Just think you're going to do that to me. This, uh, I told you this might happen sometimes.
doesn't really like doing, um, really doesn't like pulling three strands through. But, just uh, going to have to get over itself. Still one in there. Oh, glory be. There. Now we're going to work this the same way, but they're going to be much longer lines because we want this, the so-called basic part of this flower to be blue. Now, I'm not going to go, I'm going to go down into the space between because uh, that way it will look like it's growing out of. And yes, I'm going to put other colors in here too. So let's, uh, let's make this kind of longish and go over and go over one. We can go back in that hole again. I'm going to uh, not take a chance. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Okay. And you can go up a couple. And then we can go push this aside. Come up underneath the first stitch. Are you working? Yes. And come over here. And we can break this thread that we have in here. We can go down and we can get under here and break right through it because we are needle painting. And we have that little space. Do you see it in there? No, 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 no. That's a no do. So let's go down here and break right through and fill up that space. In other words, we're padding. Okay. Let's go down in here. I know where I want to be. Good. Down in there. going to like that? No, I'm not going to, but I'll pad that one. I'll, I'll do a cheat stitch. I'll go in between. So let's go over to this other aisle, so to speak. Hmm. That one turned out to be okay. Now we need to go over a little bit because we have that desire to cup the look of the flower. Let's go under further. Let's go down into the pink further. And if we don't like what we get, we can always, we can always uh, pull it out and do it again. Now this guy is going in here. Got to get them to start to walk over towards the end here. So let's get down in there. Do you see? See where it is? There we go. There are times when I do love this, this camera. Let's see if, if we can get any closer. 
This one we want to go. I want to go in there. Ew. See, I don't like that one. That's coming out, so I'm going to where we went down, pulling the thread underneath so that I don't cause a calamity here. Uh -oh. I think I've broken the thread. I don't want to do that. There we go. It should come out. Yeah, it says in the fine print. So, what do we do? We cheat. We do. We just go down here and come down here into where that black is. And we leave the, thread, the needle in, Carol. It would help. Okay. I think this is going to require two rows of uh, this teal. Almost. I need to have something else here. So I'm going to go back in there. in here, and I think that should be this side. Okay, yes. So, should we slide over? Sure, we have a little thread left. Let's, uh, let's go back over here. Go in. And you can see where we're pulling across. These are the, uh, the cut, the cutoffs of the, fur, of the knot. If they came through to the front, if I dragged it through to the front, no worries. No worries at all. I think this one is going to be the last one. We'll get a new thread. Now we'll make the rest of these, so this one looks like a straight arrow there, but that's okay. Now, where will I go in? Will I go in here? down through that line of pink. We're getting the effect. I do believe we are. I'm going to finish this across and I'm going to put one more row in because I'm pink and some, and pink and a little bit of yellow, maybe a little bit of uh, mauve up here. But right now, we'll take care of this business. Two and three. Well, we have been working. Well, I have been working and you have been watching and working right with me and thinking about how you can use this technique because it is so usable on, uh, 
on your fabric. Oh my, I'm so ungainly compared to the way I used to be, but I'm learning not to let it uh, get me down. It is what it is, and I'm here with you doing my favorite thing. That tail is a little too long. Okay, we're back to it now. That one seems to want to go in there, so in it goes. I'm not happy because I'm uh, there. That's better. Now let's go down in here, down in here, and here. No, let's not get silly now. Okay. Now back at it, or almost. I want to go over one more. I'm going back in that same hole. I believe you're a little too close there. You're not getting the whole picture. Let's, let's step out on this one. And then we'll go between. It's the wonderful thing about needle painting. You do this as though you were doing it with a brush. Now this one can come back down here. Or shall we go one up? Decisions, decisions. As Rachel says on Roxy Creations, decisions are the worst. Now, alrighty, I have to do something here. I'm not happy with the way that goes. It's not showing you the look that I want. Well, okay. Not going to. Uh, Let's get you straightened out. What I'm trying to do is straighten out there. And then it will roll over my finger. Coming up close to what's there already. See how it's 
running over my finger. If I take it down slowly, it does what it, I want it to do, not what it wants to do, which is the rule of the house. The queen speaks even to floss. Now, and we have to be sure that this does not look the same on both sides because this is not in the army. Let's press this over to the side. I want, I could go in there, but I want to press it over and go under to fill up any spaces that we might have developed here. out a little bit more than the other side so let's go over one let's make sure we draw the eye and fill up the space not have a calamity. I'm not going to be lazy. I'm going to go under here, slide it along, and pull it through. So, we are almost, almost finished. I have to finish this area up, get it over here to the black line, the way I did over here, so that it cups out both sides. And then I'm going to put another row of the blue on. And when I come back, then we'll work on playing with some, uh, playing with some, adding some colors the way it is on the uh, cover of uh, Sally. So I'm going to do some housekeeping uh, with this flower. So we should be about up to here or a little further when I come back. And we will uh, get to adding just a smidge of these two up in here because they are on the painting. Okay, I'll be back soon. I've changed my mind. I've decided not to sit here quiet. I'm sitting here quietly stitching and uh, I thought you might, uh, you might want to see it without me uh, talking about it. So I'm stitching from the top because that's the way one of the stitches fell, so why not?
where's the hole? There you go. Go down because it's easier to see where I want to be. It's easier to find the shape this way. And let's fill in. Let's go over here now and fill in the belly. Okay, that's one, two, three rows. Hmm. Yes. Yes.
Well, I think I'm in the mood to change the tune a little bit. So, what's going to happen is I'm going to have maybe another short row of this blue in here, but I'm going to leave spaces. And then the next time we're together, I will, uh, we will do some fill-in and some play. But before I do that, I want to work on black, which is always 310, always and always, and I'm making the thread entirely too long, but the needlepoint police are not here. Now, let me show you what I noticed. I looked at this enough and didn't realize that not only is, this, is the stem where are we, Carol? Not only is the stem of the flower black, this is the undergrowth of the flower, but the out, it's outlined. So, I thought I might try to see what we're going to get. Hydration. This requires it, but it's uh, it's making me happy. And this, as you can see, does not involve a rule book. You just look and do. It's quite impossible to. Uh, it's quite impossible to goof this up. To be honest, if you don't like what you did, you just take out that last stitch. Might be just a tad more difficult on uh, fabric, but not not so much as to keep you away from it. Well, let's see if I'm holding my mouth my mouth right this time. Whoops! Telephone. Husband, I'll be right back. If I did not turn the camera on after speaking to my husband on the phone, I'm uh, back to just give you a little recap so that you'll know what I did. Uh, I used three strands of black and did the, uh, the bottom part of the flower, this part, and started down to see what the uh, stem would like. Now I have to uh, go over one here because I don't want it to be uh, straight as a stick. And this is a, uh, a back stitch uh, that I have split. I'll do that again next time. Sorry about that, but sometimes funny things like that happen. Uh, bye now.